Yo, I'm lost. <laughs> ah. All right, guys. So we're out of there. It's about two hours of being loaded. We have six hours left on the clock. Six and a half. Uh, six hours twenty-three. About the same. We're gonna be on our uh, total shift clock regardless. So we got six hours to get out of here. Uh, I believe we're going through Phoenix. Take an I-10. Load is. This one's weird. I had to sit there and calculate it, but it's less than 20,000 pounds. Uh, mainly because the way the paperwork is set up, it just gives, I guess, each case and how much it weighs. I, mean, I was in the Dominguez North Industrial Center. Thanks, car. You know, I need that extra room. But the way the paperwork is set up, you kind of have to write it. Uh, he said it's not heavy, but I don't really want to trust that. So we're gonna get back on to Artesia Boulevard, get back on the highway, try to get out of the city by, um, oof, it's right around the time school gets out. Traffic's gonna start right around three o'clock. So we're just gonna drive as far as we can to get out of any kind of city life environment. Let me take my keys off. We should be turning right at this light. Yeah, we're turning right. I think, I think. Ah, I should have blocked the lane. I should have blocked the lane. Jesus. <laughs> ah, <laughs> right into the traffic. It was not going to happen. <laughs> oh. Well, we have six hours worth of driving to sit in this traffic. It was a broker load, so it wasn't like I was had a choice of how long I wanted to wait. Now we have to play peekaboo with these cars. I think the car behind, oh, well, they thought about it. No, they didn't. They, they wanted not to be. Two miles, keep left. Uh, it's, a, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. I knew I was going to end up in traffic. I just didn't know it was going to be as soon as I got on the exit. Uh, ideally, I want to get... Oh, man. Ideally, I want to get one lane over. But we shall see. But this is not, it's heavier than what I just had. 20,000 pounds is nothing. We should be fine through the mountains and stuff. Truck has just to 
to wind back up. I did have it cooling off for a while. I did recheck the trailer and everything, you know, make sure that we're good. Side skirts are good. So I gotta call up Mark because I haven't heard a peep over my CB. And like when I first had looked in CBs months and months ago, you know, I was looking at the different channels for, you know, north, south, east, west, you know, that kind of stuff. And everybody told me it just came out on channel 19. I don't think that's proper though. But it is what it is. I'll find out. But um yeah, it's not gonna be, uh, I appreciate the guy that was helping me. He was like, hey, when you walk inside that building, um, there's a lot of guys that, um, they're Asian, they don't speak English. And he was like, and they're flying back and forth on the forklifts. So he was like, um, he said, hey buddy, be careful. And I was like, okay, I go in there and I was like, oh shoot, I know exactly what he's talking about. Like I've been in entire, I've been in warehouses before, but they are whipping through there. I should have pulled out my phone there. <laughs> oh, you better watch out. Well, I'm gonna be stuck in this traffic forever, um, but I'll find out where I wanna park once I get out of here. I, I tried to make it just outside Phoenix, um, but it might not happen with the way the clock is set up. Might have to back it down a little bit more, but we'll see what we can do. And as always, like and subscribe to the channel and to tune in for more. Peace. Yo, I'm lost. <laughs> ah. So, yeah, there was something and it thought I was gonna take the highway, didn't take that highway rerouted took the so many highways going like this and ended up on the wrong one whatever routed me rerouted me and now I'm just taking my time somewhere in Villa Park I'm in Villa Park so whoever lives in Villa Park and they see a big old J rail truck on a road he's probably not supposed to be on yep that's me that's me I I did that. Um, I think the rule for this road is all the side roads, no, not over five ton. Freaking America. Metric system slash um, whatever the other system is. I can't even think of it right now. But, you know, remember back in high school, they're like, yeah, we're you're going to have to learn to your metric system, your kilometers and meters and yada yada, centimeters. American. We know inches, foot, yards, and miles and stuff. And pounds. Pounds. How many pounds is that? Just tell me the pounds. You got a four ton truck, I got an eight ton truck. No, pounds. <laughs> uh. Just sitting there jamming out and end up in the hills. Oh God. It is what it is. And it ain't what it ain't. I just thought that was hilarious. Like why, why me? I'm not even gonna attempt to lie. I don't know where I'm at. But it's fine, you know, it's, it happens. You know, you get lost in California. And the crazy thing about it was, it was like, all right, take the next exit. So I'm thinking I'm gonna take the next exit, get back on the highway, go back and then, you know, get on. No, it was not that. It was gonna route me all the way around and then back on. Oh, look, okay. Woo, anytime I see a no truck sign, I'm like, come on. No trucks, so no over three tons on that. Okay, well, don't want to go in nobody's neighborhood. 
I just don't know if I'm supposed to be on this one. But I'm stuck like Chuck for at least three miles. Come on, like, come on, come on, Tron, come on. Lane ends, merge right. Oh. Get me out of California. That's what I get. Oh, I want to go to California. I mean, not Cal. I never said California. I said I wanted to go out west. I did say I wanted to go out west. And care for what you asked for. That's a nice Rivian. All right, Tesla, what are you doing? Way to pull into the neighborhood going the wrong way. Tesla drivers, I tell you. Even though I got a Tesla. Uh, I don't drive like that, though. Well, apparently I do. Never mind. Apparently I go down the wrong way. Ooh, what's that? That was one of those horse, uh, like equestrian barrel. Yeah. You know, we're just taking the scenic route. The scenic route through Orange, California. Oh, there's a horse in the middle of the road. There's a horse. Ah, uh, see how close we're gonna get. Beautiful color on it. Got about two miles on this road just about two miles shouldn't be bad remaining we're gonna inch our way up this hill shift it because it was gonna it was gonna go really low in rpms to get up that hill get me back to the what why is that blinking oh signal ahead get me back to the highway holy sepulcher road oh there's a canyon over there Oh, it's a cemetery. Yeah, I'm way out of route. <laughs> uh. Uh. Hmm. I'm in the canyons. Oh, it's the Holy Sep Sepulcher Cemetery. The third light I'll be making a right.
using both lanes car. I'm using both lanes car. Don't you, don't you do it. Almost jumped up in there. All right, making a left here. Santiago Canyon. Oh Lord. <sighs> Triple checking for any signs, just in case. No, we're fine. My nerves have been through the roof today. I'm gonna sleep well tonight. Nice Porsche, Panamera. I love Porsches. I'm gonna sleep so good tonight because my anxiety level is very high. I'm mentally exhausted. I was just cruising right along, no issues probably why I didn't I didn't read what I was doing Yeah, we're definitely getting on the toll. Um, <laughs> whoopsie. All right, all right, got the light, got the light. They like, um, Trist, did you take a toll in California? I sure the heck did. My bad. After three miles, keep right. Okay, I see other big vehicles on it, so it isn't one of those tolls. Uh, don't miss your turn.
car, you can't see nothing. This is an absolute mess.